welcome to some gladiator matches. I'll be playing fellow Hellenda player and gladiator content creator Johnny today. And this means this will be a double feature, so check the video description for useful links on the gladiator format and also for Johnny's channel where you can see the videos with his commentary from his perspective. Enjoy! First match, we decided to do several matchups today. We start with White Weenie or Hate Bears or Death in Texas or whatever you want to call it against probably Zoltai Control and my hand is a pile of donk. I have to mulligan here. Yeah, this is a keeper. Mm. Probably we don't need the Righteous Valkyrie. Of course, you can also check my video description for links to the deck lists if you're interested. So, hi Johnny. Mm. So, it's quite exciting for me to. So far, I have brewed Gladiator within my local community and we do it mostly on a casual basis. And now it's the real shit. <laughs> Uh, against a player who is actively interested in building competitive gladiator decks and knows more about the meta than I do. So I'm. Uh, I might. Uh, I might pay some. some dues today. So lucky for me that I have a ton of good two drops. Mm. Question is, how urgently do I need to remove Valky? I don't think it's that urgent. Mm. I will um, play some. I mean, this is better the earlier I play it. This. Oh, well, it's. Oh. Takes a while to get all the classes at 2 1 creatures, so. I'd rather go for Glory Bond Initiate here. And um, think about a little whether this will be the front side or rather the back side. Uh, question is, anyways, if he will allow me to choose. Maybe there's more removal and disruption, whatever, coming up. So, Sultai Control is something that I, I'm a bit um, split. So I think this is a very, very strong deck because all the good cards in recent times are somehow Sultai or Simic. Uh, so I'm a bit curious how this uh, deck plays, but I, I don't want really to build this deck myself because I feel that everyone is playing it. So today I'll only try to beat the deck with this. Uh, white weenie aggro hate bass pile. So, um, he did nothing here. He can make this one indestructible if he wants to, which doesn't interest the initiate when it is 4 4. Yeah, well, I think I go for the marshal here. There will be some interaction from his side, I expect. But yeah, I need to do something here. So, a counter spell, that's fine. Let's exert some pressure here. That's the first interesting point. Well, I'll be curious to see Johnny's perspective on. Should I rather have gone for the trade? <clears throat> or not? I don't know. By the way, so far this draw is not very hate berry. Hmm. No taxation applied to my opponent, which is a bit sad. Mm. 
So, a little ramping from his side. What will I do on, do on the next turn? I could play Raidane or Mikias. I can do everything I have in my hand, theoretically. Question is, do I want that? Ah, oh, nice. Into the north finds the snow duels. Right, I remember this from Standard in Cold Snap. Back in the days. Yes, I'm on. So, Valky to the beat down. I'm a disenchant. Mm. So, this makes Snowlands enter Tati. Does have some Snowlands. Yeah, and it makes Planeswalkers more expensive. And also, he has one blue mana up, which could be a spell pierce. So, that at least says don't play Baffling End here. Mikios would have been an option as well, but. That one's more flexible in terms of the curve. And that's a bummer. I think Thag Tusk is one of the worst news for Mono Wyatt that can be. Um mm, mana value blah. At least this creates a not a beast. Well, it's not Ravenous Bath, it's just Thag Tusk. Nothing, nothing serious. Uh, hmm. Still. I'm not utterly happy. Mm. Let's see if Mikaos is worth his deck slot. I haven't tested it before. It looks good on the paper, but I don't know if it really is. I fear that my start was too slow, starting on Mulligan, getting the hand disrupted. I get the creature back when I do Baffling End on this creature, but... Yeah, this might be an option for next time. Okay, no need to bother about that. I might save a card in my hand. Duress. Yeah, as I have two targets, it's no use discarding one to make this guy indestructible. I hope that he's happy now about seeing the disenchant. Which is a bit of a commitment. I don't know if it's correct to include this enchant. If he takes it, now it's correct. Um, and a bummer. Now he takes both things. And... So this is a 4-3 creature, which does not... ...suffice to walk on through here. Uh, Probably it won't be. Sheesh, I just want to attack. Chill arena. The only good news about this game state is that he is also down to two hand cards. But the bad news is we're in the late game. Probably the average card that he can draw is better than the average card I can draw. <clears throat> this card that isn't shown that he knows. Removal and response, exile removal and response. Well, yeah.
What has to happen that I do anything in this game? Oh, okay, this enchant is a nice inclusion. Draw a card. Wow. That's true commitment. Okay, it's. If the card has a flash or is an instant, it's basically a zero mana draw card. That's fine. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, the. Logical follow up. Hmm. Yeah, at least if I draw more lands, I can try Emiria's Call, but I'm not as confident that this resolves. At least he doesn't have proactive business. Uh, let's try Hushbring. Instantly resolves, so... Might be a sign that he doesn't have anything left. At least not in certain direction. It's uh, floody, floody on his side. Glorious anthem. This is slightly not enough to also activate. Face oh, down. If I had played this, but I don't think that I want to waste it for that. Well, hmm. until the next mass removal, I'm back in business. So, yeah, Oof, how much can we overextend here? I'm always a fan of go big or go home in situations like these, so let's go big or go home. So, we target the smallest creature with the Esperant. Aspirant, whatever. And go for the swing here. Ooh. I didn't realize that there was this guy around. Should pay more attention to the lines. Yeah, there's a. Ha! Hushbringer catches the threat task ability. Nice. Wow, miraculous recovery. I was feeling so out of this game. But yeah, then he flooded massively and uh, that one brought me back. Until like one or two turns after I played this Shiley bird guy, I was feeling so damn behind. Well, this is seven cards with a good work life balance. I can do this. Unfortunately, no one drop, but upon starting with tap land, he's escaped very sweet. Um, first let's take some time with this. Yeah, 
castle. Another prominent that um, makes me think that this enchantment is, is actually a fine inclusion. Um, yeah, in terms of good mana usage, so let's play the three drop here. I don't know if that one does anything in this matchup. Probably, I mean, there is... It's quite a lot on the board that this does anything. So, the creature of too many abilities that are stupid is here. Vigilance, Death Touch and Haste, yeah, well. How am I going to attack ever again? I think the answer is I simply won't. Uh, it has death touch. Well, this one's actually capable of dealing with that guy. Human, 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 human. One of my theories about Gladiator in general is um, one should probably play um, play green because it has so many cards of this power level. So Valky, um, hmm, That's a bummer. Well, not much I can do here. <laughs> reading, reading. Yeah. I would love to play magic with smaller text boxes or smaller less content in text boxes this is just ridiculous. yeah this was my intuition that he would take this angel probably not that good for me <clears throat> So I could discard tap. Okay, this does not work. Mm. The containment priest doesn't do much. But lifting the other guys to the next level, I think this, this could be worth a try. Interesting. He'll probably block Benelash Marshall with Questing Beast. Which is a pity. But then it's still 9 damage, which is nice. And some threats left on the board. to remember asking Johnny why he has this pet. Uh, yes. We 
they do this trade. I will keep the planes in order to be able to prevent some destruction effect on my hollow blade. So, well, yeah, the the, the tax bears do a good job here. The tithe taker, at least one time, maybe two times, forced him to activate Aesir's gateway during his own turn because it would be more expensive in my turn. It uh, makes Valky cost one more mana now. Yeah. This looks okay-ish, but this game is sort of the inverse of the first one. I've got board presence now, but the opponent has hand cards. The angel on board trick here makes my resplendent marshal unable to attack. I could have thought about not attacking with my Benelish Marshal, actually, but then again, that's a smaller flyer. Does it make bird sounds? No. It's not a flyer. Come on, not more than one spell. Blah blah blah. So I'm not expecting any spells or abilities from his side now because Tithe Taker says so. Maybe he wants to block, in which case a counter spell could happen, but that wouldn't catch a three drop of mine, so I think that's basically Clobber in time. So, I want to keep that card. Then I can make him not play much, but when I do this, then he'll simply activate the Valky, turning it into an angel. Which means that I cannot really push through damage. This is at least good against spot removal. This is another flyer. So when he blocks that, activating this for shall I then I'm have him down to one. Hmm, that's difficult. If he does a mass removal, it's obviously but then I get this one back. So mass remove is not really a problem. Also the Archon doesn't... I think it's time to test this guy. I mean, if he'll activate the Valkyrie, then this probably doesn't change the amount of blockers, so it doesn't matter if my extra creature has flying or not. So what does he have here? Two, three, one. Oh, he's working on Aesir's Gateway. Five or more different mana values. One activation left. 
And then hell might break loose. Well, what was that? What was that for? Not that guy again. Mm. Yeah, under these circumstances, is, it would of course have mattered to have one more flyer on the board. I think I can trade my hand planes against something there. Can I? Yeah, probably. If he has mass removal, then I at least get my angel back. Mm. So he'll activate this one, have a ton of mana, so it's probably not bad if he can play one spell. Of course, if the first spell kills that guy. Then this all won't matter. So, oh, he has not exiled land so far, so this should be doable to flip this. And then this creates mana equal to life total. Ah, that's bad. Yeah, it is well possible that this will break our neck. We'll see. This smells like mass removal. Oh, it smells like I turn Valky to an angel and activate the ability two times because I have an ass full of mana. In any case, I think we're bold. Sure, this episode of the video is more interesting for, from Johnny's side because he has hand cards and options. Uh, next match, I will be playing something more mm, reactive, interactive. <sighs> Maybe then I'll also have stories to tell. So he can turn Valky to whatever this angel is called. And activate it at least two times, because it costs six. I think he could activate it three times exactly, because he has 18 mana. Which would mean plus six plus six in total. So it wouldn't kill us. And, uh, I'm not looking. Maybe uh, his actual line is to play mass removal. Interesting. I 
thinking this was a misplay on his side. It was the minus four, minus four on Roth. Couldn't he have saved this entire board with activating the Shiley ability? Well, I don't have boards, so I don't need to do anything here. That's true commitment. Let's draw some counter spells here. Okay, then let's draw some removal spells. He's in no need of an uh, extinction event, that's bad news. So now the question is what can we do with this? This hand is oh. hugely dependent on how much mana I draw in the following turns. Since one of these lands is a main land, I think I can keep it, and I have a one drop, two drop. But I'm not overly happy. Maybe this is a mine. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's close. Card. Uh, I opt for the Tithe Taker first to make counter magic from his side more complicated. Oh, uh, yeah, this card is very bad. This card is utterly bad. Oh, drawing lands is even worse. Yeah, this is the maximum. Maximum punishment. Drawing lands running into this card. Literally the worst that could happen. Mm. sucks actually yeah I don't mind the negate and the chemist is inside because they're slow professor onyx and Gagaroth cost lots of mana <laughs> especially in my turn uh, so let's slow down the quest at least So, flood against screw, yeah, magic. Mm. This might want be one of the rare cases where flood actually wins. Even the mass removal won't save him now. Because there is still a very mobilized district. Sheesh. Interesting. I win the games that I feel behind and I lose the game. Um, <laughs> I feel confident. Okay, see you again soon for some other match. So, back for another match. This time it's my mono black against some control build office, I think. 
Um, play first, and this looks good. Probably keeping that. Mm, yeah. Let's see. Still puzzled by the the white match. And it was definitely a large part due to magnificent time that uh, <laughs> I incidentally I flooded in the in the right position, so uh, Will that resolve? First counter spell down. So plan for next round, probably play Packrat. I have mana open for Packrat token. Yeah, so what I was going to say, I flooded in the in the ex, uh, exact right position, so drawing a land when he um, flung his second discard spell. And um, Then top decking a creature that actually, well, I mean, it didn't matter that much really. It didn't drew them mana for the questing beast anyway. But yeah. Okay, let's refocus on this match. So I, this should be Jeskai control on his side, and um, I will now do some action with a pack red. Uh, I was lost in thought in the last game. I shouldn't. I should have realized that um, playing an unbasic land fixes his mana at this position. I shouldn't have done this. Somewhere between stupid and bloody stupid. <clears throat> I want more pack rats. So this will probably force some sort of mass removal interaction. Do I want to discard now? I don't think so. Let's wait what he does. Apply some pressure. Drawing some cards, okay. Signs, of course, they resolve. He can root his way to removal. What is my strategy here? Mm. I will want another pack rat. Be a spot now to resolve this solemn. Yeah, I think I go for the value line. I cannot kill him all straight away. Could I? Ah, oh, damn, I could have killed him, right? Ah, uh, not, not if he has a one mana removal, which is possible that he has.
So, away with that. Um, generate some value. And more value. <laughs> Mana type? Destroy all non land permanents would suck. Destroy all creatures would be okay ish. Do nothing is always fine. Mm -hmm. Well, settle the wreckage. Oh, wow, this is a lot of land for me. This is maybe not the worst news. I should probably play this thing. I should also draw a card now, just in case. Do some scry work. Do I need that? Well, is there something nasty that I can resolve? Three mana. Yeah, maybe. Now that I have mana, I don't need to. Now, settle the wreckage is best when the opponent draws only lands afterwards. <clears throat> okay. Ah, oh, we With weird Amonkhet artwork. What's the best card one can tutor in this situation? I mean, destroy target planeswalker is okay, but I rather want something on the board actually. Does black have anything that destroys a planeswalker and does some value? Um, I could do a bond tool and have some. Ah, the eldest reborn is sweet. I can not reanimate anything. I have eight mana. I could do some really bad shit. Yeah, come on, let's do this. Let's run into mana type. And the only other counter that's available now would be Act of Negation, exactly. <clears throat> I think I know what to do. I need to get rid of that guy. The emblem will simply kill me. Can I do this X charge counters? Would need four, so this doesn't stop it. It generates treasure tokens anyway. Ah, destroy all the planes walkers. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, snap. <laughs> Damn it! I should have Okay. This was not foreseeable. Oh, 
momentary setback. <clears throat> Had I known this, I could have taken a uh, six mana planeswalker last turn. <laughs> well, this was. Not the biggest odds, I'd say. I might want to put my Blast Zone into Young Pyromancer range. Not saying that I really want to activate it for that, but... At least having the options is fine. This is probably finer. Hmm... So how much okay definitely this is the spot where we put option that guy. Oh that's bad. That's so much value. How do I win against a thousand hand cards having no hand cards myself? By handling all the threats, and we have a 45 hour game. Hmm. Ah, well, this might speed things up. Oh, well, I can handle this. I can blast zone that guy. Probably. Keep up the pace. Hey, Johnny, you have enough hand cards. Stop drawing cards. It's bad for you. Drawing cards is like a drug. You get addicted. Hmm. I would do so if I could. Let's be fair. Um. Let's put three charge counters here. And let's draw a card. See above addiction and stuff. The Alice Reborn is not as impressive with a 1 1 token on this side. Still, you should not let this go to its ultimate. Mm. So the sorcery spell doesn't do anything. I will. the Tiffy now and see if he wants to counter this. It's the opposite of drawing cards. You should counter this. Um, um well nothing wrong in also casting a creature. I need some insane top decks now. But what do with insane top decks when 
Assumingly, there are counters in his hand. Mm. Here's a solution. Draw uncountered tokens. That's not a top deck. That's not a top deck. That's sort of a top deck. And there's no target, it doesn't destroy planeswalkers. Well, let's go for it. I should have drawn the, the, the last card before. That was, that was stupid. Egan. We will come to this. Well, maybe he won't. I don't have that many creatures. Do I have any at all? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, but at some point I will. At least this gives him to, uh, stuff to think about. Mm. Oh no. My non-creature spells will be more expensive. That's I've been waiting for this. Uh, card. That's a card. It's a card that will draw a counter spell. Yeah, I think at this point we can stop this board and, and go to the same match second game in this match part. Uh, next turn the ultimate of the saga reanimates the fairy or something even worse and then uh, yeah I'm a bit reluctant to watch my opponent drawing cards so this hand is not Really good against control. No, oh, it's way too slow. It really sucks. Uh, let's go to the trick. We can away one swamp. Play this guy. Apply some pressure to the board. Don't play Cryptic Caves. Alien doesn't like that. What's the point? Since when is this in this? Oh. Does Mono Black want this Mana Stone? Me to myself? Consider this. So, the aforementioned classical magic. Control has to deal with that guy now. Unfortunately, control can. So this would be the I win situation against Burn. 
or at least against red, or something. Not against this. This is a blade worth saving. Now it's my turn. Um, let's try. We saw it coming. That's unfortunate. the proper application of knowledge so the question is does this help me resolve my Yugin and does this turn around the game for me so he can have pact of negation again then at least he stepped out next turn Also use this you to destroy Kilian. Yeah, probably. I'm sorry. Do not include you. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Fall next turn and check for his hand. If nothing too spectacular happens. Question is can I ignore this looting planeswalker? Interesting. Ether itself serves me. So this might make me doom for his creature away, actually. Oh, it's exiling. Mm, of course. And then that's great value. Mm. I've developed a sort of a board here. What nobody yet knows. So the Royal Science needs some sort of pressure. <sighs> More planeswalkers. Yeah, that's it. It's a nice card. My ancestors. Like river rapids. That's probably bad news for Eugene. I will seek other 
Um, stealth. I should be able to. Drawing cards now. Next turn I can do this. I think it's not necessary to draw a card now. Uh, seven mana. Um, so. If he has removal. Wait, what does. What if he has counter? He has no blue mana open. We should go for this. Kill that guy. Maybe, I'm sorry. I will miss you, friend. And. I will sacrifice a planeswalker. Cheap flesh creature would be bad now. Great, this worked. Uh, yeah, as I don't have. Anything else to do? So, Eliana Tribal is on the way. Mm. of the last hand card is nice but I did this one before do I want to reanimate I mean hypnotic specter is nice but solvable um still I think that's the right decision here Back an old friend. Dangerous, of course, when he has something like deal damage to each creature and planeswalker, then I'm bound. But yeah, if he hasn't, he has two permanents now that he should deal with quickly. Of course, helpful for me that he doesn't have a second blue mana. Unfortunately, I cannot kill the mana stone. I'd love to. Thinking hard. Goldie. That can handle the gun, at least. Ah, uh, he gets a treasure token. No, oh, that's bad. I should probably block that. Because if he can the kill the creature, then I'm stuck with no value at all. 
Another minion never hurts. Do it away. I have the right to choose my own fate. And yours. Sorry for your loss. Right. So the planeswalker balance has shifted. Will this be enough? So, the classical mono black problem, the opponent still has 17 life. Still a long way to go. 1, 0, 3, 2. It's also not far away from Mayhem. But at the moment he's out of cards to draw, he could probably activate that, right? Five others, yeah. That thing. <coughs> yeah, my Lilianas tend to cluster. I observed that before. The dead are loyal. So now first under my tutelage, even you can master death. Discard thing. I have no interest in fighting fair. Then the draw thing. Modern magic. <laughs> enchantment. Is there any enchantment? No. Uh, just take a creature then. Have impeccable study habits. Got the feeling that Eliana is talking to herself. So, there might be an Oresco, no, Azor's Gateway. Flip preparation. Field of Ruin against whatever comes out of the gateway. That's interesting. Let's start here. Oh yeah. Why cannot I have bone?
Well, hmm. Yeah, I'm not too far. There's got to be something useful. Good to the dome. Mm -hmm. It's not actually the response that I expected. Um I am in control. your plans. Okay. Hey, stupid animation, go away. I cannot click the L anymore. Yo, the Liana tribal will prevail. Bad news is, this was only two games. <laughs> Let's go for the final. This matchup is total fun, but it's a bit, ah, a bit on the, on the slow side. This is a catastrophic hand. Hmm. This will never work out. I mean, in a world where he plays a planeswalker that I can kill on three. Followed up by that guy. This is. Then that's. If, even if this resolves, I will have to discard this planeswalker. I'm, I really cannot see a game plan here. Ah, you're late to the party. Mm, by the way, we might not need that many six mana Lilianas on the opening hand, do we? Hmm. I mean resolving planeswalkers is sure nice against him. Well let's try and flood a little. Maybe this works. Faceless looting. Card disadvantage. I'm not a fan. At least a reasonable artwork. We will need this land. Okay, it is a useful card to get rid of cards that are bad in certain matchups. So, yeah, unfortunately, Maze my turn will have to pull a counter because I have three drops that 
will also want to resolve. So let's see. Still counter mana up then. Go first with that guy, I think. If you surrender now, I'll still have time for a mind is a terrific thing to waste. Time to run. Fair trade organization. Um, so I can. Oh, That's exactly what I aimed for. A one drop for the. I should try that now. Hmm, he even has Sensor. I thought about Sensor last turn. Why it might be better to play Mace Man Tomb. I thought if I draw a one mana discard spell. That's not a good idea. So, Brazen Borrower sucks. Counter spells that I know I can handle. I think it's important. Okay, we're absolutely not under pressure, then I'm not going to scry here. Well, I need to get the next land, but still now I have to. No need to rush. Just try. Get a land. Ooh. I always forget that this can exile permanence. But yeah, as you know, we can also. Exile permanence. It's Iron Cat card against Iron Cat card. Aether's Gateway is uh, very present today. So now I want to do Scry 1. Discard spell. Yeah, why not? I can do discard plus card drawing here. Let's start with a discard. So I know of one hard counter in his hand. Well, I think I'll ask him if he wants to counter this. If he doesn't, we can simply say go. If he does, we can play arena. 
<laughs> I mean, we do play Arena all the time, but I meant I will cast Phyrexian Arena. <laughs> Let's be precise here. to get another land next turn in order to slam one of my planeswalkers. So let's cry. Untapped land we need. Sign and lot we don't need. There's the untapped land. It's probably the best time to better one. So I can draw cards. Mm, one of them into my hand. I don't think that feed this one does any good. Again, I look into feed the swarm with the first on X activation. Sometimes I feel that the arena shoveler doesn't really shuffle. Chandra versus Liliana. Oh, today's my lucky day. Hmm. I don't need to activate the tool now. So this doesn't do anything against planeswalkers, so let's Do we need Fatal Push? I don't think so. Let's just take lands. Lands are good. Come mm. on, there's got to be something useful. First, it's important to get rid of the Chandra. And yeah, then I have a maze mind to activation. This is not flipping anytime soon. I again I have three Lilianas in my hand. And I I really think Arena doesn't shuffle. I noticed this in test games before, that I either have no Lilianas or all the Lilianas. Asterisk. Like, three out of four or something. Negate is down. Mm -hmm. So, 
I'm in the draw business. This is exactly the same as last time, or isn't it? Tremendous. Mm. Let's go digging. Zero, one, and two. Okay. The Liana Tribal wins again. Remarkable. Okay. Ready for the third and last match for today. Now I'll be playing my Jeskai Control, which is a bit similar, of course, to the thing you saw on Johnny's side in the last match. And I think I'll be playing against Gruel Aggro something. Ah, and got the f <laughs> I still got the fake land in. Yeah, this is a keep definitely. <laughs> When I recorded the first deck tag video of this deck, I explained why this land is in there. I'm, I'm, bit, I'm too embarrassed to repeat that now. <laughs> um, so we have Temple of Triumph, and we want more land. This is not a land. So let's keep it simple. No land, no tops. Of the bridge. Ah, finally. Aggro magic. Mm. So. We need to survive here until we find some sort of board stabilization. It should be the general story. I should have played this last turn on blue, I think. Well, let's play it now on blue and have cast out for cycling because it's too slow to interact properly at the moment. Hmm, interesting. I have to keep in mind that he can now counter whenever he attacked with rogues. Very slowest hand in the universe. Mm. That's good. For reasons. What can I possibly draw to? They're a stampede of what? Oof, had no lines. No. This doesn't do anything. So 
this is a serious aggro deck. I need to mulligan more aggressively for interaction. Mm, yeah, it's not really interaction, but it's enough mana. So it should be fine, I guess. And if I flood out, well, a good awakening can get me new stuff. Yeah, but it's still, it might be too slow. We'll see. I think when I tested this deck, I never tested a deck in the series aggro deck. So. Yeah, this uh, model is interesting, so this might cause some reconfigurations of this deck if the matchup continues feeling like it just felt. Mm. Shadow Spare. Shadow Spare doesn't pressure me. seem to have time for cards like this. Sweet, but not castable at the moment. Another land. That's not that urgent. I need to cast out of that guy now. choose I may play a tap land this turn scry away another land that would be tapped and see what's happening Jawari disrupt that guy, so just resolve, unfortunately. It's an interesting way to cycle the lands. So again, there's no chance for an untapped land. So do this, Sago. So if the control player has time to poke the owl, something is wrong. Fly, stupid owl. Fly. Don't read Chaos Bringer. Uh, I need to read. Mana, Riot. Card draw, shizzle, shizzle. You think I'm a crazy beast? Where do you see my mates? Power 
could go a long way. I think up is better here than map because it goes to the graveyard shark typhoon. I think I find a use for that. So oh my god. Seriously, <laughs> it covers the loyalty counters. Mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe later. I need this transformed. Mm. Yeah, let's play league. So I will cast Javari Disruption on whatever spell I think, just to get the the shark value. The snark value. Classical Dom Reability. Draw cards if there is creatures. And there is creatures. Oh no. Fuck. I need to prevent that at any cost. At least. Ah, oh, now it's an elf. Sheesh. Well, if it doesn't have mana. Protection from Lou. Sheesh. What an annoying card. Hmm. Now Captain Snarky cannot block him. That is bad. So let's summarize. We cannot do creative outburst on the ceratops. So I said as it is. We need to put two cards away. This doesn't help at all. This also doesn't help. Um, this 
also doesn't help. Sheesh. Needless to say, this also doesn't. So, the problem is, I have a huge army, but it's blue. It is just freaking blue. I do have a bit of mana at my disposal here. 7, 10 actually. So, I think... Some beholding of the multiverse might be in order. Yeah, I think so. Day of Judgment. Hmm. Of course, this also kills my creatures. Maybe the best shot I have. There are those fine. Let's drop those. So. Let's be very sure that Domri doesn't survive this. Keep the sharks going. Yeah, I want this card. Let's have some fun here. Well, <laughs> okay, but let's be let's be honest here. Uh, it was not not the fastest start from his side, so let's not overrate this. This hand is okay. Spellpiece and Nasset are not very good in this matchup. Maybe I can randomly hit a planeswalker or a burn spell with a spell pierce. River Pound is nice to have. This was 
my speed right, then I might as well go for a tent club. Mm, no one want it. Nibet Island. Come, do me a favor, Johnny. Play a plane smoker. He's so polite. So, task number one, I randomly survived the early game. Task number two, do something in the mid game. There are still many, many ways to lose this game. We have to be careful. So, when we play Narset, it probably does draw a card, gain three life, which is okay. We will need a board wipe anyways against the Legion War Boss. So, it's probably just fine. Go for a dig over here. Those who cannot proceed beyond hone your prowess. <clears throat> wow. Wow, wow, wow. At least I'm four cards closer to the next mass removal. is still the same. We need mass removal and we need it quickly. Well, fine enough, I guess, for the time being. If he draws a mass removal situation, Let's see if we do. That's as far from mass removal as it can get. Mystic mastery. Hmm. Rip apart and spike field hazard. That's not really pain. I just caught myself thinking, well, this can trade with a Cassandra Mammoth. Turns out it can't. Oh boy, this is so bad. Yeah, good jump. Won't win the game when I'm down to five. I'm quite sure about that. Nope. 
well, at least. This is too small, we need it now. This can actually help. No, Mizzix Master is a sorcery, right? Uh, but, yes, it's still. It, it can work. I mean, we won't get rid of the Ripjaw Reptile, unfortunately. But... Targeting this and that. This and that. While this play was fancy, I still got a bad feeling. I mean, today, bad feelings often turned into victories, but I think in this particular game, this might not be the case. We need to stop in my doorstep. Yeah, this is lethal. Another chum with a four power creature. So. This won't keep us in the game. This also won't keep us in the game. Well, this was a nice session. Even in the, the last match that I lost on <laughs> this moment in game two, the music's mastery. Overload was worth it. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting. I definitely need to play some more games with Jeskai against Aggro. There seems to be a weak spot there. Black and Hatebest prop found surprisingly good, but I need more test matches to verify. Because it felt weird. Many of the games felt weird and then turned out well. Or turned out the way I did not expect. We'll have to see. Uh, looking forward to test more Gladiator. Ah. Uh, and then turn your folks with it. So, thank you for watching. Do check uh, Johnny's videos, check the video description for useful gladi gladiator links. Stay healthy, stay sane. See you next time.